it's nothing new that there's a lot of people that don't understand what it entails or what it's about. One would think that the majority of the world would consider it normal though, seeing how our ancestors did it for so many years to survive. Nowadays it's more about conservation and being able to provide fresh meat for ourselves and our families rather than hunting out of pure survival. Weapons have evolved over time. That doesn't mean it's a cakewalk these days though. It still requires practice and skill to get the job done. Not to mention being in the right place at the right time. Giving the deer some time and reviewing the shot, we saw that the shot was far forward. We followed pin drops of blood for hours until there was no more that we could find. Things like this happen in the deer woods, and with a shot like this, this doe could very well live through it. shot deer with many weapons, but a crossbow has never been one of them. I guess I consider this a bucket list hunt huh? just to say I've done it. Got her dead. Good size dope. It's not a 160 inch deer. Then again, you can't eat horns. I'll be just as happy with those until I do get that big one.
Yeah, she had a good face on her. She wouldn't get broadside for us, so. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> no, I'll do it again tomorrow morning. I tried and it worked out great. Worked out great. Cool. And it was, uh, like, last five minutes, too. Really? Yeah. Just like the, the dough last night. Last yeah. night. Growing up in South Louisiana, I remember the days when it was a big deal to even see a deer in the deer stand, and we hunted hard. Nowadays, I've gotten to spend some time hunting in states that I've only dreamed of hunting since I was a little kid. Let's just say I've never forgot where I came from, because I still get excited to see a deer in the stand, no matter how big it is.